Woman found this sick baby laying in the trash, but what happened next will bring you to tears. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. In 2010, a devastating earthquake rocked the small island of Haiti, leaving a third of the inhabitants homeless. The variety of deserted kids skyrocketed and the youth have been left largely uneducated. Poverty abounded and Haiti was listed as the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. It was beneath these circumstances that Sarah Koch was drawn to assist out at Donita's Children's Medical Center. She had a volunteer job as a licensed therapeutic recreation specialist CTRs. It was in January 2014 when a younger girl entered the clinic with a three-month-old toddler, Nico. The girl claimed the toddler was deserted. The child was clearly affected by hydrocephalus, a harmful situation that caused it an extreme buildup of fluid contained in the brain cavity. The survival rate of the disease is only 3%. Sarah instantly made preparations for neurosurgery for Nico. She traveled with them from Honey to the capital metropolis of Porto K. The place the hospital is situated with skilled surgeons. There are few and far between and solely kids who have the best probability for survival are picked. Week after week of making an attempt to save a spot for her, they had been accepted, and on March 14th, Nika at five months underwent neurosurgery. Two months after the surgical procedure, Sarah was acknowledged by hospital workers that she had no one there. Nobody had come to take her home. After many telephone calls imploring the lady to fetch Nika, she went to the hospital. As it turned out, she was certainly the organic mom of Nika. Nonetheless, the younger mom was ashamed of her. She wrapped her up with material so no one might see that she was carrying a child to and from her residence in Haiti. There may be any number of stigmas surrounding any sort of bodily deformity. After months of not listening to medical doctors on Nika's progress after surgical procedures, Sarah started to fret. Four months later, the kid was lastly dropped at the middle. However, to Sarah's dismay and heartbreak, it appeared that the process had failed. Nika was additionally having seizures again, and on top of that, she was undernourished. Sarah tried to work with the mom and baby to help her in taking care of Nika. The baby's mom nonetheless was not keeping with checkups, and Sarah started to suspect that Nika was not receiving sufficient care at home. Weeks passed by without contact with Nika and her mom. Sarah's instinct instructed her to go to little Nika as quickly as possible. That is once they discovered Nika alone, ravenous and monastity amongst garbage. After discovering Nika in these horrible circumstances and with Nika at 11 months weighing solely 6 kilos, half of which was fluid, Sarah was heartbroken. When Nika's mom returned, Sarah instantly requested her for permission to take the kid, and she agreed. Sarah realized that point had run out for Nika. Her mom couldn't take care of her and Nika was dying. Sarah had no alternative, however, to step in and save Nika's life. Legal preparations have been made and some days later, Sarah was granted permission to take Nika. At that time, Nika's inside organs have been starting to shut down. With her grim analysis, physicians didn't consider Nika would see her first birthday. Miracle upon miracle, she continued to survive, Sarah wrote on her website Little Warrior Nika. Sarah continued to struggle for Nika's life in Haiti. At the hospital, she was instructed that Nika's situation was incompatible with life. With solely 0.5 of her mind remaining, Nika was additionally rejected from malnutrition clinics in Haiti attributable to a sophisticated illness. Luckily, an expert healthcare individual flew in from the US to put an intravenous drip so she might get a mandatory diet. After six months of going by means of legalities and caring for Nika, she obtained a medical visa to enter the US, and so they organized one other VP shunt implant. Sarah was lastly granted authorized guardianship, and so they arrived in the U.S. with Nika in May 2015 with the help from fellow medical doctors and helpers. Together with Sarah's associate Stephen, they had triumphed over what gave the impression to be insurmountable. After a second VP shunt implant, Nika's head circumference decreased by two inches, and she began to make vital progress. Cue the tears, Nika tried out her new standard in physical therapy today, Sarah writes. She wasn't supposed to survive the malnutrition, but today she stood. She wasn't supposed to thrive after having hydrocephalus untreated for so long, but today she held her head up two years have passed. Now since Nika was saved by Sarah. Although they have nonetheless many challenges to face, they've come by means of the worst. Sarah's wonderful dedication and swift motion have made an unimaginable distinction to this little lady's life. She lives with Nika and her partner in South Louisiana. They're grateful to all those who have supported her and have been there for them. 
thousands of individuals, all internationally, have been following the updates of little warrior Nika, supporting her and loving her within the data that she is worthy of being fought for, prayed for, and cherished.